Hello world, my name is Fork, and today I thought I'd try something a little different. So, um, I'm gonna be doing, like, a programming tutorial sort of thing. I don't know. I just wanted to try this, see how it goes. <coughs> so, um, here we go. The first thing I'm gonna do is rename this to GameForm. Yes. Um, resize this to 400. I don't know why by default. I don't know why it picks 300 by 300 by default. <coughs> Change the title to Think Okay, so now the first thing we're going to do is create a new class. And we're gonna call it game board control. I'm a bit of a slow typer, in case you couldn't tell. And we're gonna want to say we're gonna be using system dot windows dot forms and system dot drawing. And we're going to want to make this public and inherit control. <coughs> there we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make our constructor, of course. We're not going to use this yet, but it's not going to be used for anything yet, but it will later, I think. Um, actually, yes, I know it will. Uh, and we're going to want to override a few methods. The first one we're going to want to override is on paint. Since this is our GUI control for the tic tac toe board, this is what we're going to this is where we're going to draw we're going to uh, render the tic tac toe board. And uh, the other one we're going to want to override on is on paint background. And we're just going to want to say p event dot graphics dot clear and then back color. So when it paints the background, we're going to want to clear the whole area to the background color. I'm going to want to take out this. <coughs> the next thing we want to do is in our on paint method, we're going to want to create a brush and a pin. So brush main brush equals new solid brush. So we're going to create a solid brush with the color set to the foreground color, which is four color. The foreground color of the control that was specified. <coughs> the next thing we want to do is create a pin. We'll say pin main pin equals new pin and then we'll just use our brush to create our pin so main brush the next thing that we want to do is calculate the cell width so each there are nine cells on a tic-tac-toe board and the the width of each cell is one-third the whole width of the tic-tac-toe board so we're gonna say cell w which stands for cell width is equal to size dot width divided by three so now we set cell w to the width of the board divided by three and we'll want to do the same for height so cell h it always does size of for some reason all right <coughs> next thing we want to do is draw horizontal or vertical lines. So we're going to draw our vertical lines. So in order to draw vertical lines, the first thing we want to do is say e dot graphics. E dot graphics is basically our graphics object, which is what we're going to be using to draw things on the board. So we're going to say e dot graphics dot draw line. 
and then we're going to want to specify our pin, which is our main pin, and then two points. Um, the first point will be the first point on the line, and the second point will be the end point. So we're going to say, for our points, we're going to say, um, so this is the first vertical line, and the first vertical line is at, like, one-third the width. So we're going to say cell width times one. Just for consistency, we're going to put the times one, and I'll show you why in a second. And then zero. And then another cell w times one, and then the uh, height of the board. So we're saying draw a line from cell width times 1 and 0 to cell width times 1 and the height of the board. Then we're going to copy this line. Whoops. We're going to copy that line and paste it. And then we're going to draw our second vertical line, which is going to be at cell width times 2 and the same as the first one. I fail at typing apparently. And now we're going to want to add our control to the board. After we um, first actually we're going to want to run the program once to uh, compile everything. Now we're going to want to go into toolbox and game board control and add it to the board. Then we're going to I'm going to change the name and text of this to take off the one because it's pointless. And we're going to dock it fill and we're good so now if we run the program we have our vertical lines the next thing we want to do is of course draw horizontal lines <clears throat> this will be done the same way we drew our vertical lines just flipped and my brother just screamed really loud. <laughs> I think he heard me. Because he just said sorry. Um, so we're going to want to draw our, vertical, or our horizontal lines from 0 and height. So height times 1. So. At to uh, size dot width. And cell W or H times one. Oops. And now we want the other or the other horizontal line, <coughs> which we'll just change cell height cell H to times two. <coughs> and that's pretty much it. We've got the uh, basic board rendering down can now draw our board and um, that's pretty much it for now so uh, we're about eight minutes in so um, that's pretty much it for this video actually no I do want to do one more thing so if you resize this you'll notice that it kind of graphically glitches it, it's got this really weird trippy kind of glitch thing going on there and the reason that is that's happening is because the control doesn't actually redraw itself when it gets resized. And so we're going to override another method on resize. We're going to override on resize. And when it resizes, we're going to say to invalidate the control or invalidate the tic tac toe board. When you invalidate a control, it basically says that you're basically saying that this is it's messy and you want to redraw it. In the case of being resized, the control needs to be redrawn every time it's resized, otherwise you're going to get that weird graphical glitch. So we're going to say invalidate. And whoops. And now when we run it and we resize it, the control will redraw itself to the appropriate size. And that's exactly what we want. So that's just about it for now. When we come back, we'll do the data, as in the game board data, and uh, rendering X's and O's, hopefully. So, um, that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, tell me what you think of this new series, and I'll see you later. Peace out.